Hello and welcome to the first part of my preview or review of the jerseys at Liga, uh, the League of the Reigning World Champions. And as you can see in the background, I Frenchified my set a little bit, pulling out scarves that I gathered from a few trips to France. And yeah, there are some uh, jerseys hanging there. Um, I'm wearing a France national team jersey. You can see probably the one Ligue 1 jersey that I own and you will see this in the next part. Uh, Ligue 1, I'm gonna do a little bit more condensed than the Premier League. Um, we're gonna look at seven teams in the first part. We are starting at Angers and we will end at Lyon. And then the second part will take care of uh, further seven teams. However, there are six teams where I have no info yet. So uh, if your team didn't show up, it will come in the next part. Uh, and an add-on part that I will probably do um, in the early stages of the season, similar to the Premier League. But yeah, without further ado, let's get right to it. We'll start, as I said, with Angers, um, which play in black and white stripes, which I always like. Uh, kits are manufactured by Kappa. And if I look at the home kit, it's a nice black and white stripe where the black stripe has a pinstripe, which is a nice feature. It is a very white kit worn with uh, black uh, shorts. I overall like it uh, quite some. So I, I even it has only a one uh, line sponsor. So that's a plus for such a kind of smallish club from Northwestern France. Um, I miss the stripes on the sleeves though, but yeah, I would go with this one a uh, full seven. Now the away kit, and I assume this is the um, neon one, although I'm not quite sure, it could also be the white one. Either one of those already falls short in my view because they do not provide enough contrast to the home kit. The one contrast they provide is with the pants, uh, that they are worn with white and neon pants uh, respectively. But yeah, overall, too little contrast, and yeah, I, I would... I don't know now which... I say that the neon one is the away kit, although um, the might not be the case. I'll give to the neon kit, I would say, four stars, and the white kit, yeah, is kind of uh, nothing special. I think it has even some gold in there, which I find, but I also give it only four stars. I like the simplicity of it, but uh, my main gripe with those two kits is that they don't provide enough contrast to the home kit, which co uh, contains a lot of white. Make the sleeves black on the home kit and we have a little bit more contrast. But yeah, black and white teams usually have some trouble with away kits finding the proper ones. So, let's move on to the first big name team and that's Bordeaux, where Puma yeah, created tries to create a classic looking Bordeaux kit, I have to say. Um, first things first, we have of course the V that the Girondins always have. Then below this is ghosted with a even broader V with made of very thin white stripes that blends in with the uh, navy blue. Um, I'm not sure I like the shoulders so bold and white and then you have the color uh, and you know it is just broken up a little bit. It looks a little bit weird. At least they did not mess with the chevron on the front. And yeah, the sponsor is highly debatable. Um, it sticks out like a sore thumb. There are just a few things that I don't like too much. I like the color scheme, the uh, navy, but there are a few things that uh, it just looks a little bit too much of a mess. So I actually would say this is only five. I've seen better. I've seen better Bordeaux kits. I want to give it more. Let's be lenient and say six stars, but really the sponsor uh, prevents it and also the weird sleeve and color pattern. I'll give it six stars. Now the away kit, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a mess. It is white with pink and black accents. Uh, the monochromatic crest I, crest, I don't mind too much here because it's anyway monochromatic but this is kind of a blend between what we'll see the third jersey and the home jersey you have the V in kind of uh, purpley pink uh, the shoulders you have the dark black and then uh, the pink and then you have some pinstripes going Ugh. I mean I like the sponsor here <laughs> it's actually kind of a uh, joie de vivre 
Bistro, Rejo. Uh, yeah, it's too much of a mess. This is, I'm sorry, I wanna like this more. If the stripes down or if the V was, wasn't there, I think I would give it more, but I think this way I just only can go three. However, the great jersey is the third jersey, um, which kind of references um, the Bordeaux jerseys from the glory years. And you actually see that the crest has been modified to be three colored. Um, on the previous jersey it was uh, all monochromatic and now the chevron is in this um, deep red tone. And we have a uh, navy uh, rugby style collar with uh, shoulder bands by Puma and then on the red base there are four um, navy pinstripes. This looks really great. Of course I don't know what sponsor will go on there. I don't have a picture with the sponsor and probably there will be some sun. The sun come from before. I hope it's the bistro, but yeah, without that, if it's really like I've shown it here, that is actually an eight star jersey, if not nine star. This is a nine star jersey. I really like that, that one. And it's perfect for a third jersey. It provides a different color, but um, it's also um, just an alternative. It doesn't need to provide the contrast. The contrast comes from the away jersey, which actually does a, a nice job at it. So this is a nine star one. Uh, there Puma really did a uh, great job. Now for the next one, Kao, I only have the home uh, jersey made by Umbro. And if you look at it, uh, this looks like a copycat. And the first one that comes to mind is of course past season's Barcelona jersey who finished, uh, had a similar pattern on there with the navy base and then some red striping gradiating out but I know in the early 90s Paris Saint-Germain also had a similar one. So yeah uh, it's not a very original design um, but you know car it's uh, it's not original but it looks okay. Uh, of course there are a lot of sponsors on there. The sleeve sponsor don't uh, I don't mind too much. The one above the umbro logo is a little bit weird and I'm just wondering what's this on the car crest uh, this look is this a, a yeah it's a normal uh, warrior, that's pretty cool. That's actually it's already my favorite uh, franchise. I've been to the city of Kao, but I didn't know that they uh, had such a club. I, I would I would have gotten something at least a scarf, and you would see Kao there. I think back when I was in the early two two thousand, Kao was nowhere. Um, Campagne de France, yeah, is a two line sponsor, but actually not too offensive either. Um, I want to go eight here. I really like like the one. And I'm curious to see what will be the away jersey and the third jersey for Kao. Dijon, home of the famous mustard. That's very simple. And in a way, this is when I look at League R jerseys, this is what I kind of expect. This is a Lotto one, and I haven't seen Lotto in a while. Uh, Unicolored and lots of sponsors everywhere. Uh, and that's what we get here. We have a uh, sleeve sponsor. We have the leak uh, logo, of course. We have then a nice sponsor uh, on, on, on the front. And then we have two sponsors on top. Uh, this is kind of the reality. League 1 is clearly the number five among the top five leagues. And there you need to get a little bit more creative, especially if you're a smaller team. Um, I think what makes it a little bit too much is that the Lotto logos are also showing up on the sleeves. Other than that, this is a very simple jersey that kind of uh, deals with uh, all those sponsors and it doesn't become too overbearing. So I would give it a six. I uh, wish of course that the white line would go all the way around the collar, but it's at least uh, mirrored on the bottom of the jersey where also the front is a little bit uh, more. It doesn't, the white tail line doesn't continue around the front. Uh, the away jersey provides a nice contrast, it's the same design, but it uses actually black and red. And I like that one quite a lot and also here the crest pops out a little bit more so um has a different sponsor so that's also interesting to see i actually want to give this even a seven i like this one more than the home jersey the home jersey is just too red this one provides really nice contrast everywhere uh and has this interesting with the black and the red and also the sponsors as on the home jersey don't mess up with the jersey and then there's a third jersey which is in navy blue and this is also really nice um not as nice as the away jersey, but I still like it. Uh, it. I actually like it better than the home jersey, to be honest with you. Now, I give the one five. 
uh, six, I gave the, the other one seven, so this one is somewhere in between. I'm gonna be lenient, I say also seven here. Uh, there's some good things going for that one. So Dijon actually for a small team has very nice kit. Another small team, Guingamp, and this is by a manufacturer we have I have not seen yet, Patrick, French, small French manufacturer, and boy did they make a nice kit. Uh, if you look at this kit, it is red and then you have those um, rhomboids in black and white on top and of course you um, are reminded of the 94-95 Adidas design that looked very similar. Just look up the Germany jersey for the 94 World Cup and that's the kind of the design. And I was wondering, has this anything to do with it? And it has all to do with that. This is in honor of the first Gangan team, uh, team in the northern edge of Brittany. Very small town. I have been uh, going through there, uh, just driving through. I think it's not. Uh, there were there were not too many sites, and I think it was kind of foggy. We wanted to go to, to the famous uh, churches and graveyard in the area, but yeah, um, too much uh, going too much into detail. Um, I like the design. Again, a lot of sponsors there, and maybe even that the logo is centered is a little bit odd. But it's very original, and I like that uh, smaller manufacturers are not taking over the bigger leagues. Like you have Macron in France or Homa in Spain, and you know they are switching around. And now we have Patrick. Um, I actually want to go seven here for the away jersey. Uh, looks color-wise even a little bit better because you have the dark ones on top and you have the white on bottom. I don't know this is it's the exact same jersey, but I also go seven. Really nice. And the away jersey, yeah, I wish there was a little bit more red. Uh, instead of the uh, gray, if you put red in there, this could be even nicer. And then you have kind of monochromized, uh, monochromatic crest here uh, with the gray. I only give this a six, but uh, still, this is a nice one. I mean, it's black and white. Uh, it's still a nice jersey, but I think it could have been better. Of course, and I understand the economics behind it. Um, if they were less sponsored, they probably would have a higher rating, but I understand the economics for such a small team. It's very important that they have these sponsors. Uh, it just looks a little bit too overbearing uh, on this jersey. Next one is Lil. Now we have a bigger team and they are by New Balance. And yeah, I don't have a sponsor on front here. And I'm not sure if Lil at the moment has a sponsor. Um, let's get the first things first. They have the colors got right. But this is a weird New Balance design. First of all, we again have the white stripes here. Then we have a color that doesn't know whether it wants to be a V-neck or a crew neck. Also don't like it. I at least like that we have the red and then we have the navy here. That looks nice. The crest is a pentagon and that's where I think this severe shadow pattern that almost looks like uh, angel's wings uh, on the front comes from. Um, if there's a sponsor, yeah, that would also determine. But this is a little bit too messy for me overall. I think New Balance can do better here. Especially I don't like the color a lot. I don't like these white stripes coming from the collar, and I'm not sure about the pattern overall. I'm sorry. Let's be lenient and say six. The away jersey, of course, is um, yeah, neon yellow, and then we black with the same collar, and da 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 da. Yeah, no, that, that that's a five. Don't like that one. And then the gray version, yeah, at least you have the crest now again in true colors. But gray, just pure gray, it doesn't look right either. I even like this less. It has doesn't have the weird winked pattern or pentagon uh, pattern there. But yeah, that's even worse. So we have six, five. I'm going to go four here. New Balance, you can do a little bit better here. Uh, so the home jersey is the better one of them. The others I find a little bit worse. Now I go five here because the color is nicer. So yeah, but I don't like the color scheme. And then the last one we look at is Lyon. That's another big boy, but um, you know, in the early 2000s, it was all Lyon, 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 and everyone thought, wow, Lyon could go far in the Champions League for once. They always had a great team, but never went far. And when I look here at this Lyon home jersey, this is actually what I would have liked Morocco doing for their away jersey, the white one. They had 
also the white with the red uh, shoulder yoke, yeah, but they had still the red strap, they had white, red, and here white, blue, this looks nice. If Morocco had the green here, this would have been a really great away jersey for Morocco. So it makes it a great Lyon jersey. I also like that the color is white, so it stands out a little bit. And they of course fixed the obvious uh, mishap on the previous jersey, which had the two bands in red and in blue. We are Hyundai, which has the company color blue, just suddenly had their logo on a red background, which just did not fit with the company. So while well, you could buy it on a red background in as a replica, uh, the team actually used it with a blue background, which kind of made for a weird look. Um, I think this jersey really looks sharp. I really like that, that one, also the blue stripes uh, going on the sides. I'm gonna go, I wanna say, nah, let's go eight. Let's go eight, I think this is fair. Um, the user template, it's, I like the colors, maybe a little bit more color splash could have been in there, but everything else is really, really nice in there. Uh, maybe you just could have made the H here, then you would get a higher rating. Uh, the back, of course, yeah. Now the away jersey, uh, of course I like it, it's this is navy. I'm just, I'm just not sure about the orange accents. Make this red and we're talking about a classic here. So I just, and then, you know, the sponsor. The sponsor would also be orange or if the accents were white, uh, it would be more cohesive, but this way it's a little bit off and you know, the orange is not reflected in the crest. So therefore I'm gonna go on the seven here. There's also a slight pattern here. This reminds me of the, yeah, this is the pattern of, about inverse of the Holland 1988 winning jersey but you barely see it that's a nice touch uh but yeah a little bit more cohesion with the colors and we'll we'll talk a higher jersey but that way it's only a seven well and that was the first part of it if you liked it give me a thumbs up let me know in the comments what you think about all these jerseys whether you like them whether you dislike them if you want to see more of these videos and if you want to especially be notified when part two is published uh subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.